Hello traders, welcome to binaryoptions.net.au Today we're going to teach you how to trade with the stochastic oscillator. First of all, let's understand the stochastic oscillator. There are two extremely important rules we must understand before continuing. One, the stochastic doesn't follow price or volume, it only follows the momentum of price. And two, Momentum changes direction before price. This is why the stochastic oscillator is one of the most used uh, momentum indicators out there. The stochastic compares a security's closing price to its price range over a given period of time. And the indicator consists of two moving averages that oscillate between 0 and 100. The first moving average is the percent %K. And its calculation is the current close minus lowest low divided between highest high minus lowest low times 100. This is not very important, but you might as well know what you are trading with. And the percent %D is the three day simple moving average of percent %K. Here's a naked chart of the US dollar Canadian dollar 50 minute uh, time frame with the stochastic oscillator plugged in it. As you can see, the oscillator uh, fluctuates between 0 and 100, and we have two levels the 20 level and the 80 level. An overbought condition is when the stochastic oscillator is fluctuating between 80 and 100, and an oversold condition is when it's fluctuating between 20 and 0. And as you can see here, when the stochastic oscillator fluctuates, uh, fluctuates below the 20 level, we are in an oversold area. And uh, when the oscillator turns back up and crosses above the 20, um, the 20 level, we have a bullish engulfing candle and a continuation of the trend to the upside. Then, when uh, the uh, oscillator is in an overbought area, and crosses below, below the 80 level, we have a continuation of the move to the downside. So, uh, as you can imagine, the stochastic oscillator is very useful in ranging markets. The first setup we're going to be using with the stochastic oscillator is the overbought and oversold setups. As a bound oscillator, the stochastic makes it easy to identify overbought and oversold conditions. No matter how fast the security moves and no matter how long the trend is, the indicator will always fluctuate between 0 and 100. This is important and you're going to see why in just a minute. This reading don't always mean that we have hit a turning point for a reversal. Of course, if we are in a ranging market, an overbought reading is the top of the range and an oversold reading is the bottom of the range. But if we are in a very aggressive move to the upside or to the downside, uh, an overbought and oversold condition don't always mean that we have hit a turning point and we are due for a reversal. We are going to see why right now. Unlike ranging markets in aggressive moves, it's better to use these readings to trade in the direction of the trend. Okay? So, uh, overbought and oversold conditions in ranging markets are very easy and you already know how to do it. The overbought conditions at the top of the range gives us signals to buy puts and the oversold conditions at the bottom of the range gives us signals to buy calls. And with this knowledge we're going to go and see how do we use the overbought and oversold uh, setups to, trend in the, uh, to trade in the direction of the trend. So this is a range-bound price action, and, and as I already told you, uh, when, pri when price hits the top of the range and uh, the oscillator uh, is giving us overbought conditions in the market, and when we cross below a significant level of support, we have a signal to buy puts, and on the other side, when we hit the bottom of uh, uh, the range and the, the stochastic oscillator is giving us oversold conditions and when we cross above a significant level we have a signal to buy calls when the oscillator crosses above 20. This is the simplest way to trade the overbought and oversold setups. Now let's see an oversold signal in an uptrend. As you can see here in this example we are moving up okay 
and uh, this stochastic oscillator is following momentum to the upside. We hit um, a level in price that is just unsustainable uh, with the main move. This means that the move has been very steep and we are due to a, for a correction. You can see this because we are hitting overbought readings in, these, in the oscillator in an uptrend. And as you can see, when the oscillator crosses below 80, we have a small correction to the downside. Then we hit a previous area of support and we have oversold conditions in an uptrend on a correction. This gives us a signal to buy calls and to trade the trend or to get it onto the main move and trade the direction of the trend. So um, to, re to, uh, to make it step by step, you need to first identify the, uh, the direction of the trend in this in this um, example is up when we hit overbought levels you wait for the correction then when we hit oversold levels and our previous level of support and we move back up to the 20 we have a signal to buy calls and uh, uh, trend and trade the trend and uh, the same thing applies for a downward here we have a uh, very aggressive move to the downside. We hit an oversold condition in a downtrend, meaning that we are due for a correction. When we hit previous levels of uh, support now being tested as resistance, and uh, the oscillator is giving us overbought conditions, and when we uh, break below a significant level of support, we have a signal to buy puts and to trade the main move. So uh, this is how you trade the overbought and oversold setups with the stochastic oscillator in range bound uh, markets, in up markets and in down markets. Now let's go to the second setup we can use uh, or we can look for with the stochastic oscillator. Of course, being an oscillator, we will have bullish and bearish divergences. Since the stochastic oscillator fluctuates between 0 and 100, no matter how fast price is moving, sometimes in extreme moves at the tops or bottoms of these moves, the indicator will, will read exhaustion of these moves as divergence from price. Okay? A bearish divergence happens at the top of an uptrend and signals are short set up to buy puts, and a bullish divergence happens at the end of a down move and signals a long setup to buy calls. This is an example of a bearish divergence. As you can see, price is making higher highs and the stochastic is making lower highs. When price reverses and takes out the previous low, we have a signal to buy puts. Okay, this is a very typical and very normal bearish divergence with an oscillator. And on the other side, we have bullish divergences when price is making lower lows and the stochastic is making higher lows. And we uh, take out the previous low, the previous high, I'm sorry. We have a signal to buy calls in, uh, in this case, in the Euro US dollar for our chart. Okay, so this is, these are your basic bullish and bearish divergences uh, on the stochastic oscillator. Bearish divergence is when price is making higher highs and the stochastic is making lower highs. And bullish divergence is when price is making lower lows and the stochastic is making higher lows. But this is not the only, uh, the only divergence setup that we can find on the stochastic oscillator. We also have the George Lane bull and bear setup. George Lane identified another form of divergence to predict bottoms and tops. And this is what's cool about this oscillator or, or this indicator that we have plenty of setups to look for. Uh, and if we're monitoring uh, six currency pairs and two stocks, we will definitely find enough setups to keep us occupied during our trading session. A George Lane bull setup is basically the inverse of a bullish divergence. Now stick with me and uh, I know this may sound a little bit difficult, but stick with me and uh, I'll, make it, I'll make it very comprehensible. So a bullish, uh, a bull, a George Lane bull setup is basically the inverse of a bullish divergence. Price makes lower highs and the stochastic makes higher highs. Okay. 
but we need a decline after the bull setup and a break above the last high for an entry. A George Lane bear setup is the opposite of a bearish divergence. Price, price makes higher lows and the stochastic makes lower lows. We need a bounce to the upside after the bear setup and a break below the last low to get an entry and a signal to buy puts. Yeah, I know this sounds a little bit difficult, so let's go to some examples of these setups, okay? Now, here you have a George Lane bull setup. As you can see, on a down move, price makes lower highs, but the stochastic is making higher highs. After we get the bull setup, which is lower highs in price and higher highs in the stochastic, we have a decline in price. And when we take out the previous high, we have a signal to buy calls. This is a George Lane bull setup. Now, this is a George Lane bear setup. We have, uh, here the stochastic is making lower lows, but the uh, but price is making higher lows, okay? And after we get the bear setup, we have a bounce to the upside before breaking with this low which gives us a signal to buy puts in the euro us dollar for a week chart okay so there you have it those are all the um, setups that you can look for using this stochastic oscillator and right now we're going to go to the mt4 platform to look for some setups uh, of our own i don't know if we're going to find every single setup we just went through but uh, at least we're going to try to to find uh, a few of them Okay, since we are uh, in the, we are during the Asian session, uh, we are going to be reviewing uh, these setups with the Aussie US dollar. And uh, the first thing that you can notice is that we are uh, on, the, on the Aussie, Aussie, Aussie US dollar for our chart and uh, we have no indicators on it. So the first thing we're going to do is add the stochastic oscillator by clicking the plus sign going to oscillator and then choosing the stochastic oscillator uh, we have added the 50 level on the stochastic oscillator just to get a feeling of uh, a bear bull market uh, a, uh, a line and of course the default period chart for the 14k uh, is the 14 period uh, for the percent k d is 30 period okay so we plug it on a four hour chart and if you're going to be day trading, remember to draw your levels on the four hour or the one hour chart because the, the levels are so much uh, strong than the, the ones on the 15 minute, 15 minute or one minute chart. Okay, here we are filtering out the noise of the market. Okay, uh, even though uh, price has been in a, in, a, in a very deep uptrend, we are now 450 pips up since this low okay since this correction uh, without having minors uh, or without having deep corrections such as this one this correction was about 150 pips so we are counting from this low to this high 450 460 pips and uh, and uh, i think we are due for a correction and uh, the stochastic oscillator of course signals the downside but we are here to trade the 50 minute chart so we go to the 50 minute chart and uh, we are going to look for uh, trading opportunities. Now, uh, we have these uh, these highs right here, okay, that price broke with, and uh, uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to look for um, the first setup that uh, we can uh, that we can have with uh, the stochastic oscillator, okay. Now, what do we have here? Okay, price is making uh, uh, price is making lower highs. Okay, remember price is making lower highs, and the oscillator is making higher highs. Okay, and now what do we get? We uh, what do we got here? We got a dip to the downside. Okay, after the George Lane bull setup. I think what we have here is a definite bottom of the down move. 
So, in order for uh, for this uh, this uh, setup to be valid on the 50 minute chart, of course, we have to break with this high uh, right here. So, now that we have defined that we have a George Lane or we might have a George Lane bear uh, bull setup in play. We need to define the level that we need to break in order for us to get a signal to buy calls. If we break with this high at the 98, uh, 93.84 level, we have a signal to buy calls in this currency pair. And on the 50 minute chart, we can choose an hourly, maybe a two hour expiration, and it will be fine. Okay, so that's the setup that, it, that can be in play right now. And uh, let's continue. Uh, for instance, here we have a clear uh, uh, we have a clear overbought uh, signal that uh, gave us an entry when we took out this low. Okay, remember that we are in a steep uptrend. Uh, when we are in an uptrend, we are making higher highs, uh, higher lows, and of course higher highs. Okay, when we get a uh, a uh, an extreme I'm sorry uh, let me just regrab my rectangle an extreme uh, uh, overbought signal and then we break with uh, with the obstructor breaking with the obstructure means that we take out the last low when we take out the last low retest the same level uh, uh, this level as resistance and then break to the downside we have a signal and uh, and of course the uh, stochastic oscillator breaks below the 80 level we have a signal to buy puts on the Aussie US dollar 50 minute chart and if we choose an hourly expiration option or a two hour uh, our option will have expired in the money okay now let's continue because we have some cool setups to go through okay now uh, this is a ranging market okay and uh, this is the most basic uh, use of the stochastic oscillator. We hit the top here. Oops, I'm sorry. We hit the top here, okay, and uh, we hit a uh, overbought reading on the stochastic oscillator. We we hit another top here, and we hit another overbought reading on the stochastic oscillator. But here's where things get very interesting, okay. We have a super strong move to the upside that breaks with these highs and this level of uh, uh, resistance. Okay, then price starts to fade to the downside. But look at the stochastic oscillator, how it goes all the way down to uh, to uh, oversold conditions. Okay, and uh, we are in an uptrend. So what happens here? We are using the oversold conditions to buy calls and get in on the main move, which is to the upside. Okay, so as you can see uh, with the, this stochastic oscillator, once you have uh, uh, mastered it, you can actually get a lot of signals. And uh, uh, if you get confirmation that these signals are valid, you will be in high probability trades.